Both the Rance and the River Severn flow into the sea through funnel-shaped bays, and it's the massive amounts of water which are forced into these relatively small spaces which give both rivers their very high tidal ranges. Therefore, most of what comes into these estuaries is fed straight up their respective rivers, resulting, in as far as the Severn's concerned, the famous Severn Bore. Whether or not the River Rance had a bore before the barrage was built is subject to some dispute, but compared to the River Severn phenomenon, it's likely, if there was one, it was an insignificant affair. So can we compare the effects the building of a barrage had on the Rance on the possible consequences on tidal flow a Severn barrage might have? Professor Christian Rettier is the director of the marine station at Dinar. The stories are very different. In the, in the two stories, the amplitude of the tide is very high, 13 and a half meter at the mouth of the estuary La Rance, so 15 or 16 meters in the Severn. But the general morphology of the two estuaries are different. This is a small estuary with a uh, 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 flow of fresh, uh, fresh water is not very important. Okay, it's in its name in French, uh, Ria. And the Severn estuary is a big, large estuary. But the size difference could just mean any problems experienced in the smaller Rance estuary could occur in the Severn, but on a bigger scale. Jacques Collard from the Rance Association of Combined Users Committees. The biggest problem is the accumulation of sediment. Now there's not enough water to move the sediment along because of the barrage. The way the barrage works is changing the environment. Before the tide came in and only stayed high for a quarter of an hour before going out. Now it stays in for six hours. However, according to sedimentologist Dr. Chantel Bonneau-Courtois, the build-up of silt in the river is down to natural evolution and not an effect of the barrage. This map is a sedimentological map which represents the evolution of the est Rance estuary. Uh, you can see on this all the, the bay of the Rance estuary are infilled with blue uh, color which represent mud. With the, the natural evolution of the estuary uh, show that uh, the, the mud increase in the upper part of the estuary and the sandy part becomes muddy sand. The normal evolution of an estuary is, uh, is its infilling with fine sediments, mud and muddy sand. Navigation upon the tidal section of the River Severn here in Gloucestershire is up as far as Sharpness docks where larger vessels either unload here or carry on up the Sharpness Gloucester Canal to the city docks in Gloucester. Now, if a barrage is built, the ships here will have to tackle locks as they come through, and it won't only mean ships coming to Sharpness. Both those going to Cardiff, Avonmouth, and for that matter, Porter's Head, will face the same situation. On the Rance estuary, the major port of San Marlo is accessible from the seaward side of the barrage, but there are boats on the river side. Do the two ever meet? In others, um to, to make possible the navigation of the boat from, in both ways, there is a, a lock which is uh, open every hour. Uh, or, of course, if there is a boat who wants to go down or to go up, so there is no uh, limitation uh, for the boats to, to navigate. The lock is 11 meters uh, wide and uh, 65 meters long. In part three, I'll be looking at how the barrage on the Rance has affected the ecology of the area and how this might apply to the Severn Estuary.